In our other headline tonight, attention in Malaysia is focused on who the new Prime Minister, Muhyiddin Yassin, will choose for his cabinet. Day one on the job has been occupied by meeting with government officials. Mr. Muhyiddin has come to power by forming a new coalition with UMNO. It's a move that's raised concerns that criminal charges against senior UMNO leaders, including former Prime Minister Najib Razak, may be dropped. Melissa Goh has the latest on the political saga. 72-year-old Mohidin Yassin clocked in at Prime Minister's office in Putrajaya on Monday. It's his first day of work as eighth Prime Minister, but he wasn't in a hurry to meet the media to announce his plan. Instead, he traveled to his home state of Johor to give thanks to his supporters and prayed. He later met the government chief secretary, head of security forces and inspector general of police. All eyes are on his new cabinet lineup after a tumultuous week of political upheavals. President of United Malays National Organization, or UMNO, Ahmad Zaid Hamidi, skipped trial Monday morning, claiming that his presence was required at the prime minister's office. But the PMO later issued a denial, saying there's no such meeting. Zahid later returned to face the judge and could be cited for contempt of court if he failed to produce proof from Prime Minister's office. You're back. UMNO is one of the three main component parties in the new national alliance known as Perikatan Nacional, led by Mr. Muhyiddin. Speculations is rife that Mr. Muhyiddin may cut a deal with UMNO in exchange for their support. When met at KL Court Complex on Monday, ex-Prime Minister Najib Raza has rubbished that. The only way to clear his name, he said, is through the court. Do you hope that case will be dropped? Because a lot of people are saying that, you know, they are watching closely. No, no, I've already made my statement. We'll go through the court process. Yeah. Thank you, Lydia. And you're confident to clear your It's the only name. credible way, yeah. Thank you. Najib is battling 42 charges in court, ranging from criminal breach of trust, power abuse to money laundering, involving state investment fund 1MDB, while his wife, Rosma Manso, for bribery. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Muhyiddin continues to face mounting calls from civil rights activists and from the opposition to convene an emergency sitting in Parliament to demonstrate that he has the majority support in a 222-seat Parliament. And a new parliamentary session begins on March 9, and concerns are that it may be delayed to allow time for him to decide on his new cabinet lineup. Melissa Goh, CNA, Kuala Lumpur. Where to now for Malaysia? We'll have a closer look later on Asia Tonight.